In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to find buyer questions on Google. Now, if you haven't had a chance to read the PDF yet, uh, this will make even more sense and why you'd want to do this if you'll check out the PDF that accompanies this video and you can actually see some of the more of the methodology and why we want to do this and how we can use this to triple your profit. But let's dive in with this step-by-step -step example. So to keep in line with the PDF, we're just going to take the topic of iPod. So let's assume for a minute that you had an e-commerce store where you sold iPod accessories or maybe you have an affiliate relationship and you get a commission when you refer an iPod sale. So let's say you were trying to get traffic to your site. What we could do to find those buyer questions at Google is we go to Google and we'd simply put in the keyword iPod and then we will take our cursor, this blinking thing right here, and we'll just use the arrow keys to go over to the front and we'll type in the word what and we'll put a space and instantly you can see that the suggestions now are questions and these are the actual questions that people are either typing into Google or what's often happening now is people have their smartphones or even tablets, any kind of device that uses voice to text or uh, voice based search and they'll just simply ask a whole question and then that gets searched at Google and Google records it and when those occur frequently Google makes them as suggestions because it's trying to guess what's the probability of the term you're typing in. Now these are just really simple questions and you can imagine the types of words you could put here. You could do what, when, where, how, how often, how many, how much, uh, who. Um, you can combine things like um, who sells, there you go, so who sells iPods, who sells iPod Touch. So you could see how you could really get advanced with this. But there's another cool thing you can do. If we erase this here and we put an A in a space, uh, let's see, go back here, there. So notice um, that, uh, let's just change this to what, there we go. So if you put the, the question word at the front and then you put a letter like A and then you have a space and you have your topic here, iPod, you'll see here that we're getting back these results. Now if I go and I put B, you'll see that I get different results, C, D. So I can literally step through the alphabet and I'm getting the questions that people are asking. Okay. Now you need to read the PDF to get the concept here, but these questions are often very low competition terms. You can rank for them fairly quickly. And in most cases, especially if you're targeting these buyer questions, you're absolutely certain that there's commercial intent. Whereas with a generic keyword, you're not often sure who's searching for it. If it's just an informational or research type search versus someone that actually wants to buy something and they just need the last bit of information before they're going to buy. Uh, so that is the key concept there. Now, this can take some time. So let me give you a couple tips here. Uh, if you're doing this manually and you're putting this in, you can do screenshots and because if you click any of these, it's going to go away. So you kind of need this screen to stay up. So there's plenty of Chrome plugins that are screenshots that you can use or a really fast way is just to hit control alt and print screen on your keyboard and it'll just take a capture of this page. And that way you can do a bunch of these um, screen capture them and then go back later and just type out the individual question. That's one way to do it. You want to definitely brainstorm uh, the way people talk in your market. So let me give you an example. We'll do which, but then we're going to change this from iPod to iPods. So just by adding that S there and going the plural, look at the way some people are asking the question, which iPods have Bluetooth? Now, if we change this to iPod, you'll see we get a complete different set of questions. Well, this one shows up here, but most of these are related to the iPod versus iPods. So just these small nuances in the way people search can have a big impact on the types of questions that you get and the better research you get. So that is one way that you can kind of expand on this. Also, the question words themselves. Spend a good bit of time brainstorming all the different ways people might talk when they want to find something on Google and especially when they want to buy something. Um, where can I purchase? Who sells? Which shop has? Um, where can I get free shipping on? And you, you can imagine all the ways people ask those final questions before they're ready to buy. Now, if you want to speed this up 10, 20, 30 fold, uh, we do have software called Question Spy that does this and more. So basically, the brains behind Question Spy is finding these questions. And you'll see here, I put in the term iPod, and I have a huge list. I'll scroll down here and show you just a huge list. And these are all commercial intent questions. And you can drill into these and narrow them down and get them as specific as you want to get them. You can put in 
uh, iPod, iPods, put, put different variations of term. And then all you have to do then is just you can do control A and copy and you'll have all of them copied down. You don't have to do any screenshots. So it's much, much faster. And the algorithm is really intelligent. So you'll be able to get more terms using question spot. Finally, once you have your terms, no matter how you get them, no matter how you get these buyer questions into your list, uh, there's a free tool that we have called Keyword Grouper Pro. And it's at marketbold.com slash keyword grouper pro. And when you go to that URL, there's a video right here that will actually walk you through how to use the tool. You can download it here by clicking this button. And what you can do is dump these questions into Keyword Grouper Pro, and it will actually separate out the key topics that are showing up again and again. And those topics are usually the ones that have the most search volume as well as they're the the sticking points to the sale so if there's a whole lot of questions about ipods and bluetooth then that ends up being the thing that people are just unsure about it's kind of their last maybe their last objection before buying they really want to know does it have bluetooth or maybe some certain way it connects with bluetooth and so you can use keyword grouper pro to really point you to the key topics that you want to be writing about and then the beauty of this is you're simply going to make content or buy these as PPC clicks. And I go into that uh, more in the email series to understand that concept. But the core idea is take your topic, find those buyer questions. Those, uh, they're really objections to the sale. They're, they're, they're questions people have before they're ready to buy. They really want to know something. You find those questions, you answer them. You're really helpful. And once you answer those questions, they're ready to buy and you get to sale. And that's the core concept. And that's how you can triple your profit and really grow your business this year.